Hey guys, Lacey Elizabeth here. So July has been insane, like crazy for me anyways, because I've been working for MGM on a huge movie, which already has Oscar buzz. It's going to be epic, but I cannot tell you about it because I signed an NDA, but I was working 18 hour days. The sleep, I just, I'm catching up on that. <laughs> it is, it's been a minute, all right? But it has been insane. It's been very, very fun. And I'm very, very proud of that work. Also, July hasn't had a lot of makeup drops. I mean, there has been just a lot of lipsticks. Like everyone dropped a lipstick from Louis Vuitton to Makeup by Mario to everyone. Like everyone dropped a lip product of some sort or another. So now that we have all these makeup brands dropping new product, we've got Pat McGrath launching a brand new Mothership palette. We've got Laura Mercier launching a brand new blurring powder, which I'm excited for, very excited for. And then of course we have Dior launching a powder foundation that is i can't wait all right guys make sure you like and subscribe to the channel so you guys don't miss when i drop a new one let's get started with the brand new natasha denona bronze palette so this is it right here this is exciting i love the packaging oh wow that is beautiful that's i love this i mean this is her classic packaging i'm gonna pick up one of the other ones that i have here so this is the Natasha Denona Mini Nude Palette. They are the exact same size. This one is actually a super loved palette in my collection. As you guys can see, I dip into this quite often. Love this one. The color story in here is pretty similar to this one. This one's a little bit more corally, more ready tones, like that brick color undertones than this one. So I think this is gonna be a really super, really pretty palette. And I can't wait to swatch it for you guys. So this is very buttery, but honestly, it's a little powdery. And I'll show you guys in just a second. So this color right here, that's swatched beautifully. I picked it up and clearly I had a little bit of fallout right here out of the palette. I just picked it up on my fingers. There's a little, just a little bit right there. I'm not gonna worry about that terribly much right now. We're gonna see how this performs. It does feel like her standard mini palette formula but we're gonna see how this performs on the lid. I am gonna go in and do two different looks for you guys like I always do because it is a mini palette. I think two looks will be good for today. To start, let's go in with a fluffy blending brush. Today I'm going to be using this one here from Smith which is a 237, but just go in with any fluffy blending brush. That's gonna do your crease. So I'm just gonna pick up some of this product and that is pigmented. Wow, okay. So I'm gonna actually tap that off. That is a little bit pigmented, a little bit dusty, but that's okay. It is Natasha Denona, and I am very familiar with her formulas. So I'm just going to go in right here on the crease. Oh, that is stunning. Love that, that's, that's gorgeous. And it's blending out amazing, which I expected from her. So I'm just gonna pick up just a little bit more of that same shade. Again, tap that off. Just wanna deepen that up in the crease just a little bit. I am gonna bring it right into the inner corner. This is a beautiful deep peach corally color. It's just stunning. Next, I'm gonna take a denser, fluffier brush and I'm gonna pick up some color. This is actually from Smith as well. This is a 230. I'm going to take this deeper orange color. In the center of the palette, we're gonna pick up some of that. So again, tap it off. And I'm just going to place this down right here in the center of my lid. So, essentially this is a mini version of her bronze palette, which has been like sold out everywhere for forever. It did come out a couple of years ago, but this is just, I'm happy that she came out with this. Like, it's perfect. You have all the essential shades in here that you need. And this color right here is blending out so good. I love it. Like, I mean, just look at the blend on that. That's just amazing. Let's go in with this same brush. And I'm gonna pick up this color right here on the end just to deepen it up just a little bit. Again, I'm gonna tap that off. And I'm just going to place this beautiful brick shade right here on the outer corner. Again, not really any fallout, not mad at it. 
I think just when I went in my fingers, there was, you know, quite a bit of, you know, patchy fallout. I probably just picked up way too much swatching it. This blend is really pretty. I'm definitely not mad at it. I am gonna go in with a clean blending brush just to kind of blow that out a little bit. And to do that, I've grabbed this brush right here. This is a dual ended brush. This side is a diffused crease brush from Sigma and this is called a E38. I like this because it's dense enough, but it's gonna also give you that really great blend. And I'm just going in and blending that out because I just want it a little bit blown out right here. This look is gonna be a little bit softer. The next look is gonna be a little bit more glam. Okay, so far my thoughts on this is that I super love it. And in fact, if I took the little nude palette that I showed you in the beginning of the video, again, the mini nude, and this palette on a vacation, I would be good to go, like golden, like no pun intended. But <laughs> like definitely bronzed and fabulous. I, I like it so far, it's really, really nice. I haven't had any issues with it. It's blending out really, really nice. So this is a packer brush right here from, so I've grabbed a Dominique Cosmetics packer brush and I'm just going to go back into this original shade right here. There's one thing I wish that this palette had, to be honest with you, and that's an even lighter shade because I feel like it could go a little darker, it could go a little lighter. I just feel like I wish I had just a little bit of a lighter shade just to do a little bit of a blend, but that's gonna be okay. We're gonna use this one. And I'm just going to place this down on the inner corner of the lid. I love that, that looks phenomenal. It's just, it's great. Now I'm gonna go in with that same original brush that we were using from Smith, and I'm just gonna pick up that exact same shade Tap, 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 tap that off. I'm just going to run this just above my crease, under my brow, giving a decent amount of space there. So I'm just going to just buff that out right there. Oh, I love that color. That looks so pretty. I'm gonna go in, do the other side, and I will be right back to show you guys the finished look. To create this look right here, look number one, these are the colors that I used. I used this shade right here, and this shade, and a tiny bit of this shade. So it's a very matte look, but it's stunning. It's absolutely gorgeous. Now, moving on to look number two. To start off the look, I went in with this shade right here in the center of the palette and I kind of blew this up all the way to the brow bone. This is stunning, I love this shade. Then I went in with this shade on the far right corner. This is the only shade in the palette that actually gave me some fallout. Not dramatic or anything like that, but just a little bit of fallout with a blending brush. So I just wiped that away. But this is what I placed all over the lid, staying away from the inner corner. Then I went in with this shade right here. This one, I wanted to punch up that color, so I actually went in with this right here, which is the Too Faced Glitter Glue. I applied just a tiny bit of that to the inner corner of the lid, all the way to the center, and then I placed that on my finger and tapped that on top. That gives you that intense punch of color that I have on my lids right now. So if you guys love it, let me know in the comments down below. And now it's time to give this product a score. Starting with application. I believe this applied gorgeous. Like this, I, I can't, I have no complaints. One shade did give me a little bit of issues, which is the one on the far right, the deeper shade. But beyond that, it was perfect and it blended out like butter. So I'm gonna have to give this one a nine out of 10. Next up, pigment. There are five shades in this palette and of course they are the iconic Natasha Denona formula. So I'm gonna have to give this one a 10 out of 10. And finally, value. So this is actually $33 Canadian, which is basically her standard price for a mini palette. They usually range between 33 and 36. This one is 33 and I love it. So I'm gonna have to give this one a 10 out of 10, bringing us to a final score of 29 out of 30. Now, should you buy it, wishlist it, or avoid it, definitely run out and pick this one up. It's something that you really need to have in your collection. I love it, it's perfect. Go to grab this, you know, take it to set, take it to the beach, take it 
you know, just drop it in your purse, take it out so you're ready to go for a night on the town, dinner on a patio. You are good to go and you will be glowing like the goddess that you are. All right, guys, if you love videos like this, don't forget to hit that like button, hit that notification bell, and subscribe to the channel so you guys don't miss when I drop a new one. All right, guys, until next time, live, love, and the blast. Bye.